everybody, and welcome back to another Alchemy Guide. Today we're going to be going over map sizing and the grid here in Alchemy. A lot of times people find that pulling uh, images off the internet randomly and just throwing them into Alchemy may kind of come up with some situations where your map size isn't really matching up with our grid. So we're going to go over how you can either uh, find maps that will fit the grid and or adjust the maps that you found and uh, make it a lot easier for you to use within our system. So let's go ahead and jump into it. And I'm going to go down a list of stuff here. Uh, things will be popping up on screen to help better kind of define what I'm talking about. But really, this is a, uh, I guess, a detail specific um, a guide. So let's go through and uh, let's talk about a few talking points. So the first thing you need to know is that when you purchase anything on Alchemy itself on our, our, our marketplace, if it includes a map, those maps should be 100% good to go. You shouldn't have to make any adjustments or anything like that. Maybe if you want to adjust sizing for, for whatever reference you are using in your game, that's totally fine. But those maps should be sized ready to go. If they aren't, then please do let us know. If you find a map that maybe slipped by, slipped by us or you know maybe we didn't adjust it uh, just, just right or whatever it might be, do let us know and we can jump on those as soon as possible. Now, if you go out and you find things from other creators online, so for instance, maybe you're picking up your maps from Patreon, or maybe you have some other map location that you are grabbing your maps from online, and uh, they have their their grids on them, they should be standardized. Most people on the internet nowadays uh, who create maps will create their maps at 140 DPI. Now that what that means is basically uh, it, it's the pixels per square inch, uh, or I said DPI, I meant PPI. Excuse me, it's pixels per square inch uh, on the map there, meaning that each little square on the map is 140 pixels by 140 pixels. Um, that right there is exactly the the measurement we need to match to the alchemy grid. So let's say you find a map online though, and it's not um, on this 140 by 140 pixel basis. Um, and it's just not matching up to our map correctly. Now, if you find a map and it has a grid already baked into it, it makes it really easy because all you need to do is multiply the number of squares that you see on the map horizontally and multiply that by 140. So whatever that is, let's say there's 10 squares, you multiply by 140, you're at 1400. That means that the size of the image should be 1400 pixels wide. So just simply multiplying by simply multiplying the number of squares that you have times 140, that will give you the image size that you need. So take it into any uh, image sizing software or any kind of free uses online where you just probably Google image resizer uh, and you'll find something. And all you need to do is make sure that you change those dimensions to match what uh, the square, the number of squares on the map there. And by doing so, that should help to fit the grid. Now, if you go and import that back into our system and uh, you see that it's not matching perfectly, you'll just use that little slider there and that little slider will help you resize the grid uh, to match the one that's actually on the image. Now, let's say you get a map that isn't uh, gridded, meaning it's just a blank map and it has um, uh, you know, no grid within it and you're just kind of having to deal with it. Well. What you need to do is you need to upload the map and you need to see if um, by taking the slider, you can then uh, in, in tactical mode, use it to kind of resize the map to the exact size that you want. Now, in order to get it to a, a size that you're looking for, we suggest doing a couple things. You can either use the objects on the map to kind of give you an idea of how far or how big things are, because you can use our little squares to say like, well, of course, depending on what map you're using, usually about five feet or maybe even 10 feet. That'll help represent how big that map or how small that map needs to be. You can also throw down a token on top of uh, on top of our grid and then use that token to kind of size it around and see like, OK, this is about the size of a person where they would be standing in this map kind of thing and use that for reference. Now, what happens if you upload a map and um, it's just too small, like completely too small, meaning uh, you've brought it in and you've, slide, uh, you, you've taken the slider and you've moved it all the way to the, uh, the top and your pixel, or I'm sorry, your, your tokens are still too big for the map. Well, you need to take that image out of the uh, program and then you need to go and resize that map to fit either the 
140 uh, PPI um, requirement or just up upsize your map so that way you can adjust it even further within the program itself. These sliders are not necessarily meant to literally resize your map. This is basically a magnifying glass and we really only go up to a certain amount. Otherwise, you're looking at getting extremely pixelated on a lot of these maps here. Now, here you can see that it says map file sizes uh, should understandably be five megabytes or lower. The reason we say that is because when you find a map online, a lot of times these map makers make the most detailed and most beautiful maps, but they also uh, are huge files, really, really large files. And if you're planning on using a map like that in Alchemy, you could run into issues where it starts affecting your players or even your performance within the actual program. So we suggest having maps at least, or I'm sorry, at most five megabytes um, and uh, or lower. Anything over that, you're looking at possible performance issues within the program. And again, like I said, if you even if you bring it up to a certain amount, a lot of people have even complained like I've uploaded a map and nothing shows more than likely it's because the file size is massive. And we're talking about maps that are over 30 megabytes uh, just alone. They will literally just show a blank screen. So make sure you are uploading at the right uh, size file size. That way you won't have to run into any performance issues. Now we've given you a couple of options here for useful and free conversion tools, uh, you can see that um, if uh, we suggest using a WebP or WebM format, so that way it, it really, really crushes down the file size and keeps the quality of the image. Um, you can use websites such as like freeconvert.com or cloudconvert.com, and you can easily take your JPEG, PNG, or whatever um, file you might have grabbed and uh, turn it into a WebP, WebM, and uh, it makes your day a lot easier. What happens if you don't have a map though? That's OK, because in Alchemy, we like to say we are theater of the mind. And what that means is that if you want to go into tactical mode, we provide you with the grid and you can literally just start placing tokens down on top of that grid. And by doing so, this allows you to do things like relative distance, orientation. You can, you know, show the placement of things, maybe even if you want to just do a line order, uh, you know, this person in front of this person in front of this person kind of thing. We allow you to do that through the tactical map, even if there is no map uploaded to the system. Um, you place down your tokens and kind of go and build the world from there. With that, uh, we went over a lot of things that you can uh, do to help guide and, and place a map here um, and, and match it with our grid. If you have any other questions or concerns or anything like that, please do leave them in the comments below. We are here to answer them all the time. So I appreciate you guys watching another Alchemy Guide, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.